This video is sponsored by DraftKings. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. You guys are here with me and Sweet T today bringing you guys breakdown of DuPlessis and Sean Strickland. Hope you enjoy, let's get into the video. What up everybody? We've got a good one this weekend, folks. Live from Ontario, Sean Strickland will be in the octagon against Drakus Duplessis. Have you built your bet slip yet? I've parted with DraftKings, and right now, new customers can take advantage of an amazing offer for the fights. All new customers who bet just $5 will instantly get $200 in bonus bets. That's right, new customers can bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets into your account instantly. Stay in on the action and use your $200 in bonus bets on DraftKings Same Game Parlay for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including number of rounds and method of victory. If you already signed up for DraftKings, no problem. All customers can get no sweat, same game parlay or SGPX. Get a bonus bet back if your bet doesn't hit. Max reward limits apply. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the chance to win cash prizes. Man, let me tell you, UFC 297 is going to be sick. Strickland versus Duplessis, are you kidding me? You know Duplessis is going to be working on his grappling. And you know Strickland is definitely going to be working on that takedown defense. I'm leaning towards my man Strickland. It's going to be sick. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WONDERBOY. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WONDERBOY only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's go. We got UFC 297 going down this weekend, and we got Sean Strickland, the wild man, you know, Mr. USA himself, yep. Yep. taking on the South African sensation, Drickus Duplessis. And we're going to give you guys a breakdown, our thoughts on the fight, and who we think is going to win this about going down this weekend. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video to see who we are picking to take this main event and to become the new or and still 185 pound champ. Well, be, let's do it. Fight is already Strickland and Duplessis is zero. I don't know if you saw the fight at the fights when they were getting into it. Oh, yeah, no. I think Strickland won that fight though. I, I did see the fight because that was at 296 and I witnessed it live. Oh, that's right. You were there. I saw it happening live. So do you, who do you think won that one? Was it definitely Strickland? I thought Strickland won it, right? It was hard. I think Duplessis took the solid approach and went low. You know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hard to get leverage from up high. There was a lot of back of the head shots. Well, that would also tell you what his mindset's gonna be leading up to the fight. Could be you know some insight saying? to yeah. the fight. Yeah. The fight. Well, being that I am the challenger, I'm not the challenger. Being that the challenger <laughs> is Duplessis, and I'm not the fighter, I will take Duplessis and we'll kick these things off with. You're a handsome guy. You look, you, I mean, you, you look like a Duplessis. I with, feel like me and Duplessis look similar body style wise. Yes, yes. We are Just equally as jacked. I'm a little bit more shredded, but you guys get the idea. So that's right, we got Drickus Duplessis hailing from South Africa, the South African Sandman himself. The guy's a stud. He's yes. on a streak. He's entering Saturday night's fight with a solid 6-0 record in the UFC, but his Dude. overall record is 20 wins and 2 losses. Most of his wins coming from an organization local to South Africa, but the dude's a stud. Dude, good grappler. He's got good striking. He's beat some of the best strikers out there in, you know, Robert Whitaker. That was a good one. One of. One of. One of. One of. Are you going to let me break him down or do you want to take over? Sorry. This guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. So, like WB said, his last fight was a solid TKO victory over the one and only Robert Whitaker. I mean, Robert Whitaker's been at the top of the game for the longest time. He's challenged Yoel Romero in his prime with one knee, went toe to toe with him. He's challenged um, Izzy Adesanya like 15 times, you know. A little bit better each time, but <laughs> we know how that went. Point is, he's been at the top for the longest. Mm -hmm. He was crushing dudes at 85, and Duplessis took him out in under two rounds. Dropped him, finished him, made solid adjustments in that fight. Yes. Like switching southpaw, so you know the intelligence, the fight IQ is there, the coaches are prepping him. Um, but he's just a set of a fighter. Before that, he took out Derek Brunson, he took out Darren Till before that. He decisioned Brad Tavares, Trevin Giles, uh, he KO'd Trevin Giles and he KO'd Marcus Perez for his UFC debut. The dude is a finisher. Of his 20 wins, 20. 
19 of them were finishes. Gosh. He only had one decision of his 20 wins. Nine of which have come by KO, TKO. 10 of which have come by submission. So the dude can submit oh, yeah. as well. He's been KO'd, he's been, he's been submitted, but those are his only two losses. Now, all that aside, you know who Drickus is. The best way I can describe Drickus Duplessis is he is violently chaotic. There's no real rhyme or reason seemingly to what Drickus does. He's not like your Izzy Adesanya. He's not like these, you know, the Robert Whitakers who are very sound in their striking game. Once you've seen them fight, You've seen them fight a hundred times, but they're good at adapting, so we thought, in the moment, in the cage. He's what I like to say, balls to the wall. <laughs> you know, that dude's ducking, he's swinging haymakers, he's shooting in on takedowns, getting the double legs. There's no real rhyme or reason, it seems like, to what Drickus is doing. He's chaotic, he's violent with every shot he throws. He looks like he's gassed out within three minutes, but somehow <laughs> he ends up persevering and finishing his guys. I mean, the dude's a stud. Yeah, that, I mean, that's just how he fights, man. He fights tired. He's like in your face the entire time. And he's jacked. I wish I had a physique like him. Mm -hmm. So what are Drickus' pros? First off, right off the bat, he's a strong dude. Mm -hmm. They've said it time and time again. He's got power, obviously, with, with his KOs and his submissions. He <clears throat> has like a weird gas tank. Or even though he looks completely exhausted, he's still got power mm -hmm. in his strikes. He's got wrestling. He can shoot in for a double, get you down. He's got submissions. He's even got a sneaky front leg round kick, WB. Ooh, I like it. Right? But what, what are Drickus's weaknesses? Weakness number one, in my opinion, is his chaos. You know, at times he reaches for his strikes. He's overreaching. He gets hit a lot. Derek Brunson hit him a lot, and Derek Brunson doesn't hit a lot of people. He's prone to get hit. Now he's got a hard cranium. He doesn't get finished a lot. But with somebody like Sean Strickland, who he hits you once, he smells blood, he's jumping all over you. So he's got to be careful with that. He's a guy that, uh, you know, he hasn't fought the who's who of the 185 yet. Robert Whitaker is by far his best win. Again, before that, Derek Brunson. So he's not fought anybody like the one and only Sean Strickland. Right. So, you know. Who knows what, what it's going to be like when he steps out there versus Deshaun Strickland. Deshaun, um, the, the Tarzan. Saturday night in Toronto for UFC 297 main event. So there you go. Trick is Duplessis. He's a stud. He's got finish ability. He's got power. The ability to wrestle and to shoot. But he gets hit a lot. And we haven't seen his gas tank through five rounds yet. So what's that going to look like? Oh man, that's, that's his first time. Now he's only had, this will be his seventh fight in the his UFC. Seventh fight in the UFC. Dude, fighting for the title, bro. He's fighting just crushing everybody. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to be facing off against the one and only, the Captain America, if you will. But they call him the Tarzan. Sean the Tarzan Strickland. Now my man Sean Strickland is very experienced. He's been fighting for a long time. 28 wins and five losses in his record. Started out at 170. The dude looked like a different human being at 170 actually. The dude was shredded, he was clean cut, doesn't look like the guy that you see today. The rough and rugged shit. Yeah, the, the chest hair, you know, he was all like, the shaved, shaved head. right? He yeah. was all like, you know, he was freshly he waxed like at young, 170. Like a youngin'. Dude, he, his first fight was at uh, in the UFC at 170, at uh, UFC 171. You basically. fought on that card, you fought on that card? No, UFC 170. That's when I fought Whitaker. Okay, you were we already, we both beat. four fights deep at that yeah, point. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dude, that's dude. crazy. Now, my man Sean Strickland has fought some of the who's who's in the UFC. He's fought Kamara Usman. He's fought Court McGee, who he beat, which a great, that was a uh, very strong grappler, but at 170. Ended up getting in a, was it a motorcycle wreck, Sweet Tea? I believe it was a pretty pretty nasty motorcycle accident, yes. Bad motorcycle wreck. He was out, I think he, he fought in 2018 and didn't fight again until 20. 20, so he was out for a while. Now him being out, obviously you know what happens when you're not in the gym consistently, you gain weight. Mm -hmm. And it just does, it's just not fun trying to cut back down to 170 once you've gained some weight. Now we've seen all kinds of, of, of Sean Strickland. We've seen a flabby Sean Strickland. And to be honest with you, I've seen some photos, I've seen some training uh, of Sean Strickland. This is the best Sean Strickland, physique wise, that I have seen. He's on par with Duplessis. I, this is the first time that I've seen him have like a six pack. But he's looking shredded, this guy. Now, my man uh, is on a three fight winning streak right now. Obviously, beating one of the best strikers, best fighters of all time in the UFC in uh, Israel Adesanya. And didn't just beat him, walked him down. 
No respect. No respect. Just like and, and that is that is Sean. That is the Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland is the type of fighter who's gonna walk forward, he's gonna beat you how he wants to beat you, and doesn't care two flips about what you're gonna bring to the table in that fight. He's gonna walk right through it. But that said, that is also one of his downfalls. He will walk forward when he fought Alex Pereira. The way he was fighting was just walking forward with no respect. I mean you know, to, to Alex Pereira striking and he ended up getting knocked out. So I think that's one of his downfalls is that he walks forward and he takes some shots. If he's not careful, especially against a good striker, which I think he's better striker than Duplessis, but he also stands up too tall, which is another downfall, which is a great opportunity for a good wrestler to shoot in on his legs. Now, is he gonna be able to get Strickland down? Possibly, but to be honest with you, Strickland's got pretty good takedown defense. He's got very deep. good takedown de uh, defense and good grappling as well. So even though you don't see it a lot, he's got great grappling and good wrestling. So I think that's what makes this fight so good. But he's got to be careful. If he stands up too tall, Duplessis can shoot in and take advantage of that. So obviously both guys, very, very intelligent, got great groups, great training, uh, great coaches behind them. So it's just going to see who implements their game plan the best. It's going to be that old saying, when an immovable object meets an unstoppable force. Yes. Right? Um, like you said, Strickland doesn't like to move backwards. He's moving forward. So does Duplessis. Duplessis fights forward. That dude does not move backwards. <laughs> um, so, man, it's going to be a great fight. You know, the odds have him fairly close. I think the odds have Strickland at a minus 140 favorite right now. So, a lot of respect for Duplessis in terms of the odds and the lines right now. That could change. But as of right now, it's pretty close. WB, what do you think? Sean has to do to win the fight to beat Duplessis. Sean Strickland, number one, he's got to keep that same mindset. Doesn't care what Duplessis has, what game plan he brings. He's got to focus on his game plan that's going forward to put his hands upside his head. Obviously, I think he should keep his weight a little low, just you know, because Duplessis, he's not afraid to shoot in and try to get the fight uh, to the ground. I think he knows that Strickland's got great grappling, so I think that if Strickland can uh, you know defend the takedown, he's got to defend the takedown to keep the fight standing and keep the fight where he wants it, which is standing up and putting his hands and feet. He's also, he's got a great front kick. And I think that can really tire Duplessis down. So mm. keeping that kick to the body, just constantly to the body. And if you want to tire somebody out, you got to go to the body. You got to cut them down at the trunk. Mm. That's what right you got to aim bread basket. Right in the old bread basket, sweet tea. I think if he starts early with those front kicks to the body, he can tire Duplessis down, makes his shots a little weaker, making him shoot out from farther out as well mm. for fear of the front kick. It also kick. doesn't allow Duplessis to chaotically rush in. Exactly. If he's worried about that front leg. So I think he's got to implement his front kick and walk him down. Love it, love it. Now Duplessis on the other hand, I think he's got to do the same thing. He's got to stay continuing moving forward. He can't let Sean Strickland put the pace on, put the pressure on. He's got to get Strickland on his back foot. Strickland doesn't do well or as well when he's moving backwards. He's a very high volume, high pressure guy. So if Duplessis can shut that down and stay in Sean's face, I think he's gonna put himself in a better position. What else happens when you're moving backwards, when you're on that back foot, it opens the hips up. Yes. Duplessis has gotta be able to smartly mix in the takedowns as to not absolutely guess himself, because this is a five round fight, which he's never done before in the UFC. So he's got to intelligently mix in the takedowns with his constant pressure forward and stay in Sean's face. But again, that's hard to do. That's man. hard to do. He gets hit a lot. He's got to be mindful of his defense because Sean's crispy. He'll keep them hands moving. He's very good technique wise. Um, it's going to be hard for Duplessis if he's not careful with how he approaches the initial rounds in yes. that fight. So I think who keeps the person on their back heel will win the fight, basically. Because both guys, like you said, you got chaotic right here, and you got a guy who just walks forward the entire time. That's what it's about. That's Whoever what it's about, can man. implement their game plan over the other typically gets the win. Usually that's the plan on every fight. Usually that's how <laughs> it goes. Now with that, with that said, WB, who do you think is going to be able to successfully implement their game plan and walk away with the 185 pound belt this weekend at UFC 297 Toronto, Canada? Um, You know what? I'm going for Captain America. I'm going for America, baby. You know what? I, I love him as a champion. I think the people love him as a champion, especially here in America. 
The dude says what's on his mind. I, I just love his mindset and his just ability to not care about anything and what people think. Uh, he's a great fighter. He's fought at 170. He's fought at 85. I'm glad to see him with the belt. I'm going for my man Strickland. I know you're going for him, but do you think he's going to win? I think he's going to win, dude. I think he can do it. That's the thing. that You can't throw him out right off the bat because everybody knew that uh, Izzy Adesanya was going to beat him. Mm -hmm. And then he Everybody just did. did. Dude, plus he's tough. He's chaotic. He's violent. He's powerful. He's strong. Does he have a chance? Absolutely. Do I think he's going to be able to get Sean Strickland out of there and walk away with the belt and new? No, I do not. <laughs> no, I do not. Ooh, Let's see. You agree Let's on see. that? What? Yeah, Strickland, he's he's smart. He's got a great camp. He, they know what Duplessis is going to do. And he's you know? brought in everybody. He's working with camp. Johnny Eblen. He's working with Magomed Ankalaev. He knows what this guy's plan is. He's bringing in big dudes, strong dudes, to implement that grappling and wrestle. Yes. Now, again, Duplessis has 10 submission wins. I was watching some of his fights before the UFC. That dude is quick to lock in a choke. He's powerful. He has a nasty guillotine. Do I see Sean Strickland shooting in? Absolutely not. So I think we're kind of out of the the, the woods for that happening. Yeah, yeah. But with that being said, Duplessis is very dangerous. Sean can't just walk out there and be absolutely careless with Duplessis because Duplessis can sleep him. But the way I see it going, I see Duplessis getting tired and actually staying tired and Sean Strickland working his way to a TKO victory he in the third rounds. or fourth round. So I'm taking Sean Strickland, TKO, third or fourth to remain and new, but it's tough, it's yeah. close. Well, that's the thing. I mean, experience goes a long way. Sean Strickland's had had several five in a round fights. Um, and this is his, this is Duplessis' first in the UFC. So I gotta go with experience, man. I gotta go with my man, Sean Strickland. We wanna know who you're gonna go with. We wanna know who you're gonna take, Duplessis or Sean Strickland, the man himself. Let us know why. Let us know why we're wrong. Tell us the whole deal down in the comments <laughs> below. But we love you guys. Always. Hopefully this brought some insight and this kind of geared you up for what's going down this weekend. We're going to be tuning in, watching. I'm a fan of both guys. You know, I picked Sean to win. Duplessis is crazy. He's chaotic. I like watching him fight because, like, it's always like, what the heck's going on when this yeah. dude's fighting? <laughs> what so, am I seeing right now? Highly recommend tuning in this weekend. We got a lot of other fights. We got Neil Magny fighting uh, the Canadian up and comer uh, Malo. We got a female title on the line. The vacant. Ooh, let's go. The vacant. 35 pound belt? I think it's 35. 35? It's gotta be 35. Yeah. So we got that belt on the line. It's gonna be packed. So make sure you guys tune in this tune weekend. Tune in. Like this video. Let us know if you want us to continue doing more stuff like this. And we appreciate you guys watching. Let me tell you what we need to do. We're like do. UFC 300, dude. We got it. We need to go live on YouTube, right? Yeah, you need to be in the cage fighting live on YouTube. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.